Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hi, I'm Christian. Have you ever deserved judgment, but instead been given mercy? Perhaps you've been pulled over for speeding and were let off with a warning. Or maybe you've done something worse and should have been forced to pay the price, but were let off easy. Isn't it a wonderful shock to your system when you know the price you'll pay for your wrongdoing, but you're surprised to learn that your slate has been wiped clean? The Bible makes it pretty clear in Romans 3.23 that everyone has sinned. We all fall short of God's glorious standard. And three chapters later, the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. Today's word for the day is on Psalms 145, but I want to focus in on one verse, verse 8. It says, The Lord is merciful and compassionate, slow to get angry and filled with unfailing love. There it is, plain and simple to see. We are told that everyone has sinned and the price for sin is death. But since the Lord is merciful and compassionate, He gives us the free gift of eternal life through Jesus Christ. What does it mean to be merciful? Well, I found this definition. Someone who has compassion for other people, especially when he is in a position to punish them or treat them harshly. And then what is being compassionate? It's an empathetic understanding of a person's feelings accompanied by altruism or a desire to act on this person's behalf. In addition, God is described as slow to anger. This means he is patient with us, and it takes a lot to get him angry, and that is probably because of the next characteristic in this verse, God's unfailing love. God shows us mercy by not condemning us to death, the expected outcome for sinners, which we all are. He shows us compassion by giving us grace when we so often fall short of God's glorious standard. Romans 10 verse 9 states, If you openly declare that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. This is such great news. That's why the Bible is often called the good book. It describes, it describes the nature of God and how to be saved. And just by looking at this one verse, we have reason to be thankful and worship God. We will never live up to the standards of God. And for that, we deserve death but God is merciful and compassionate. Praise God that this is the nature of our Heavenly Father. I hope this puts a smile on your face and blesses you. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you at church or online this weekend. Bye-bye.